For their 25th anniversary, Alienware has released their most powerful machines ever. They claim here on the site that this system is capable of 300 frames per second in HD with Call of Duty and a 3D Mark score close to 20,000. That's insane. I ordered mine the day it was released. And in this video, I'm gonna show you which one is better and what you can do to get the best price. Mine is coming very, very soon. So make sure to like and subscribe with notifications turned on so that you can be sure to be notified when my unboxing and review videos are up. Why should you care? about this release. You might be coming to this video from my fun unboxing or review video of the Alienware Aurora R12. These machines are substantially better than that one. How are they better? For one, they boast an 87% better performance. We'll talk about that more here in a sec. They've also got 50% more volume, which means more space for airflow and heat dissipation. Its new hidden cable management also establishes even better uninterrupted airflow inside. And I just love that new design. We finally get a sleek looking window into the inside of a beautifully lit RGB motherboard. Previously, the Aurora machines could only include a custom shrunk down version of the NVIDIA GPUs just to fit within the chassis. Now these new machines are big enough to include a full size NVIDIA GPU. So if you want to get a 360 GPU now and upgrade to a full size 3090 later, you can do that with this one. The R14 is a bigger number, so it should be the best, right? Wrong. The R14 has the same AMD CPU and the same DDR4 RAM as the previous R10. The only real difference with the R14 is the actual chassis. You're still holding on to the past with this new machine. The R13 on the other hand, way, way more future-proof. It now includes the latest 12th gen Intel CPU and PCI Express 5.0. It also has Alienware's Cryotech cooling technology within the liquid-cooled version. You may have seen in my Alienware X17 review that that Cryotech cooling technology did wonders for thermals. Alienware laptops used to run really, really hot compared to the competition. Not so much anymore with this technology. And last but certainly not least, it's one of the first machines out there to get a taste of that new DDR5 RAM. Currently on the Alienware website, you can get up to 4,400 megahertz with this RAM. Initially, DDR5 RAM is supposed to be 50% faster, but eventually it'll have up to a 165% higher data transfer rate than the previous DDR4 RAM. Also, every single of DDR5 RAM will be dual channel RAM. So definitely, definitely get the R13. And if you've got the money, you're definitely gonna wanna max it out with the all new 12th gen Intel i9 processor, a 3090 GPU, and definitely get that glorious 64 gigabytes of 4400 megahertz DDR5 RAM. And you'll definitely wanna choose the Cryotech liquid cooled version. I wouldn't waste your money on that $50 rear cable cover. Yeah, it looks kinda cool, but there's no way that that's gonna be good for thermals. Yes this looks pretty steep at $4,600, but you can shave off almost $500 of that if you sign up for a Dell Preferred account. It'll give you 10% off your purchase with 0% interest if paid in full within 12 months. And on top of that, you get 3% back in rewards that you can also use on other accessories or computers from Dell later. Some people sometimes also get even more of a discount after chatting with a live expert, so that's worth a shot. It didn't work for me personally, but maybe I just wasn't that charming enough. Some people have also claimed that they got their order faster by going into their order status, then view order details, then select issue, my order status, and then chat with the order management team. A lot of times you can kindly ask them to ship it faster and they'll actually push the order ahead. All this being said, if you guys still wanna wait and see what my experience with this machine next week is, I don't blame you, cause that is a lot of money. So make sure to like and subscribe with notifications turned on so that you can know the moment that my unboxing and review videos go up. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you next week. God bless.